Hello, Stargate fans, David Reed here. Uh, I just keep on putting out all these updates, uh, even though I'm supposed to be on hiatus. I've been receiving a lot of comments in the videos that we've been posting about the the models, the, the Stargate models that are behind me uh, on the Dial the Gate set. Like, where, where can we get these? And so I wanted to post a, a brief video to explain that information for you. So the BC-304 USS George Hammond model was a custom build by a gentleman by the name of Chris Baker, who I believe is in the UK. And it is a one of a kind piece. It is a scaled down version of one that he made for himself. Um, it, it took him almost half a year to build. It has thousands of pieces, little teeny tiny pieces of styrene painted and made to scale of the BC-304. So unfortunately, I, I don't think that you can find those anywhere. I didn't want a 3D printed one of that and he made it custom and it took him forever but if he does change his mind i'll be sure to let everyone know because i mean there these that model alone is worth hundreds if not thousands of dollars and is one of the prizes of my collection the other models though are available so the atlantis model was made by mr kevin sabo who is from hungary and he runs his own business called 3dtech.pro and he was responsible for the Atlantis model that we have on the set. It's designed from the later Atlantis model that was featured in seasons four and five of Stargate Atlantis, not the design from Rainmaker, uh, which was featured prominently earlier on in the franchise. So just keep in mind that his template is based on that. He is also responsible for a few additional pieces that are going to be in the collection in season two that you will see. And here's a preview of one of those right now. So if you want, a custom full-size replicator or a scaled-down replicator, he's the guy to go. Kevin at uh, 3dtech.pro. He's based out of Hungary. And his international shipping rates are very reasonable, especially in COVID. Uh, the gold Hatak from the set was built by a gentleman by the name of Stephen Barr from France. And I believe... it Just ignore the friggin' rooster. I... <laughs> I gotta get out of the middle of nowhere. Uh, the uh, I believe his website is 3D Prince SF and more on Facebook, where it has an email address listed as well. So I'm sharing that information uh, with you now. So he built the gold hot talk. He has also made this amazing uh, Apophis mothership that I I don't know where it would fit on my set. It would have to be a centerpiece in my dining room table. It is so big and so gorgeous. So he's responsible for that. And one of the reasons that I liked his so much is because the I swear the three-sided pyramid is metal. It's it's not a 3D print. It's absolutely gorgeous. The last piece that is currently in the collection for season one is Destiny. And Destiny was made by a gentleman by the name of Tom Paris. And he his content is available over at catalog.tomperez, P-E-R-Y-S, dot CZ. He's Czech and he designed that model. He also has a model of Destiny that actually lights up in little teeny tiny spots, but I didn't want that version. I wanted a more portable version. So those are the models that were currently on the show in season one. We'll have obviously more models in season two and other contributions from other people who have submitted gifts to the show will be featured behind me in whatever set I end up having uh, in Tennessee. And we'll go from there. So if you want more close-ups looks at these models. Here's a look at that from clips from season one. See you on the other side. For season two of Dialing Home, I had models commissioned. And uh, then I got the models and all the shooting was in Vancouver. And I was like, I'm not flying with this thing. <laughs> I'm going to break it. <laughs> so um, let, me, let me show this. This is my pride and joy. Um, let me get this over here. Chris Baker, he built this for the show. What is this? Oh, my. So Darren's actually looking on a different camera than, than what's being broadcast on the series, on the channel. So I'm, I'm Am I ahead this. or behind? Uh, what do you mean? So anyway, yeah. So what I'm, oh, yeah, what I'm saying got... is you're not gonna you're not gonna necessarily see the full thing here. This is a BC three hundred four, uh, clearly um, seven thousand pieces of styrene. Oh my goodness! And it's more than seven thousand. He stopped counting. So he stopped counting at seven thousand. I would too. Yes. So That's I don't beautiful. know how good the resolution is going to be, but every individual piece on there 
is an individual unit. He sent this thing to me and it had an instruction manual that actually came with the, uh, the model. He, he made a custom piece of, a, a custom instruction uh, piece because all of the, the comm towers, all the little, um, the, the pieces, the, these individual uh, pieces here. The little those, antennas that stick up? Yeah, those did not come installed. So he, yeah. he had little poles with, with holes in them. And he said, okay, this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here. So I'm like, these, these things, they, <laughs> they come off. That's amazing. So, Don't pull it off. Oh, oh sorry. And um, yeah, it's like, even like, it's like, it's like, has an edge to it. Like it's halfway, it's, it's cut slightly so that it, it pits in plushly, flushly. So there we go. But um, this is a brilliant piece of art. It took him months to make this. And we didn't get to feature it in Dialing Home. Uh, and now, now it's going to be a part. This is going to be the closest you're well, going it to is. see of it. It's it's going to be in the back from now on, um, on this lovely custom um, stand that he. Oh, I need to clean that. Ugh. Oh, so, cool. Anyway, it oh, I love have, it. It won't have dust, but that's that's in production right now. Or this this is already made. I just want a half decent Lego made. set for the Daedalus. Do they make that? No. They don't. Oh, well, there's fan, there's fan made. There's three ores all over the place. I love the, the the Stargate quote unquote Legos that have been created and prominently on it's not a Lego brand and then on the box it says will work with other buildable sets. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, MGM so, gave the license to Best Lock. Exactly. One of the one of the not quite Lego knockoffs. Ex exactly right. Um, then Stephen Barr uh, created. <laughs> Whoops. One last model, I swear to God. The other two okay. are still on the way. They're not here yet. And I'll introduce them what they get here. This is a um, uh, a, 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 a printed, a 3D printed Hatak. So um, I haven't this, seen this one. This is phenomenal. Yeah. This is this is precious to me as well. This uh, Stephen did a, a great job with this. Um, is it? Oh, it's three. It's three sided Hatak, not a four sided Hatak. Well, yeah, that's, very that's a pyramid ship. So this is the the three sided. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get used to the the perspective of this camera. I'm very intrigued. Oh, what is that? Some sort of alien spaceship city. Spaceship city. That's exactly right. This is Atlantis, and it is a three D. That's phenomenal. A three D print by Mr. Kevin Zabo. And he is Hungarian. And I've had the pleasure of getting to know this man uh, over the past um, few weeks. And this is a phenomenal piece. Wow, of that is cool. Yeah, so it's going to be- Did he say how many pieces go into it? He did not. I don't know. I mean, it's a 3D print. So a lot of it is like more or less a single piece. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an extraordinary and he spent so much time on this thing. It's clearly based on the, the later Atlantis design because Atlantis was never, unfortunately consistent throughout the show. Rainmaker yeah. started off with the model in, um, season one. And then I'm not sure which visual effects house got a hold of it later. Yeah, and I, I don't know when the changes happened, but they did, they tweaked the model as they, as they went they on did. and it, Eventually, obviously, as the show went on, it, it became more consistent. I uh, requested one of these back in October. I was standing in the Air Force uh, Museum in, I think, West Virginia and uh, contacted Tom over at Working Props and said, I've got to have a destiny for the show. So he came through and made this. So cool. This model. And it is absolutely magnificent what he has done. The detail, I'll post some, some photos later, but I mean, the, the detail that he's put in, I mean, the friggin' scorch yeah. marks and everything else is absolutely magnificent work. And I've wanted one of these things for years. Cool. And he's just, he just came. Is through. that a resin cast? I think so. I think so. It's definitely some some plastic. It looks it's, pretty light. It's it is very light. I um I had uh, I had problems hanging on to it for the first um, 
little bit, but um, hopefully that and the the shape of the destiny means it's not going to start to sag after a couple <laughs> years. Exactly, like it's your pretty... coordinate cells back there behind you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sturdy. I know my 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 poor Constitution class nacelles. And then he made. Um, I don't know if this is going to show up at all, but he made a. A teeny tiny shuttle. Teeny tiny shuttle. That's, that's adorable. That's, that's in the scale of the um, of the of the ship, so I can actually. It's a little it micro there. machine. Exactly. Shuttle. Exactly. <laughs> and then, I don't know if you'll recognize this. Uh, it's a little kino ball, but it's not to scale. It's not a kino. It's not a kino. Mm -mm. Oh, it's the Nakai. Nakai, uh -huh. the Nakai ship. There Is that go. not legit? That's and legit. I asked for a custom display stand, and he was like, well, we'll see what yeah. we can do. Not necessarily I custom. I still just have this replicator block from Dean. Hang on just a second here. Oh, <laughs> that's one of the originals. I got you got to remind me next time we do this, and I'll pull my, my screen-used Zach gun out of the garage. 